If you love Baltimore sports, you'll love WNST.net. Before you want to, because she's trying to green room, you know, and I hate talking to guests before you come. I'll talk all you want when we're done. Yeah. But I just, I, I don't know you, but I know of you, and I've been in a room with you once, and I don't, I just have never invited you to the studio. I'm, I'm kind of embarrassed, quite frankly, yeah. that I don't I know gotta, you better. I gotta come up north and go to the studio. Yeah, yeah man. Like Thirty minutes away from. I'm there. having a coffee with you this morning. You, you started <laughs> dropping the Ravens. You I'm started a huge dropping Ravens the Ravens fan. Oh, let's start with that. Yeah. Why Ravens? You should be a Redskin girl. Really? No. Look at that look. No. Oh my God. <laughs> Give me a hug. I love you. No. I'm I don't want to just have a crush on you. You're now a Raven fan. I have a huge crush on you now. Well, I retired from the sport of gymnastics in 2000 and then realized there was more to life than just gymnastics and got into watching sports and NFL I love and just became a big Ravens fan. I don't know. I'm just not a Did you grow up Redskins? No, I grew up nothing. I grew up a gymnast only, training 40 hours a week. So I really didn't cheer for anyone and it was, it was, I was Is it as bad as I think it is to grow well, up a gym? It's not bad. No, I mean, it worked for me. It was a, it was great for my personality. I was a very driven child. I had, you know, huge goals, and I really didn't want to focus on anything but gymnastics, the Olympics, and school. And that's it? Yeah, that's it. There's so what, what gives an ex-Olympian who looks as fine as you do, pleasure at this point. I mean, you're you're doing motivational speaking, yeah. and you're obviously doing the Yahoo thing, but did you ever have any other, what did you go to school for in Maryland? Well, I majored in communications. I actually did Broadway for a year. I was exciting to perform on stage for a year in the musical Grease, but I realized my calling in life is definitely motivational speaking and, and speaking. So you went to Broadway, and had, what role did you have? Patty Simcox. I was the cheerleader, oh, so go man. figure, I had a flip and sing and dance. <laughs> yeah, it was a lot of fun. You were the pain in the ass, basically. I was Patty pretty Simcox, much the annoying, that's what it was, right. which is the complete opposite of what I was in school. I was a mute child in school. I did not speak up because I was so nervous around people. And I didn't have friends at school. I was antisocial. And I think it was because I was just so entrenched in the gymnastics world. I was just focused on achieving success. Did you arrive there? I, I did arrive there, but I I'm a Tony Robbins guy. Have you me reached too, me too. ultimate oh success? Yeah, no, I have not. I have not. I think You um, are living with passion, though. I see that. I'm living the passion, but I think ultimate success would be being a mother someday to impact young people and, and help them reach their full potential in whatever it is in this world. I think my focus is on really building the self-esteem of young people that I know are struggling and they're down and out because when I was a young athlete, even though I was winning Olympic medals, I was not fulfilled. I was not always happy and I didn't really truly love who I was. And You didn't have a you. No, I really wasn't sure other than gymnastics what who Dominique Dawes really was. And um, once my career was over, I had opportunities to go out there and find myself and I found it through my faith. That's awesome. That's awesome. So how often are you speaking to kids and stuff like that? And is it the type of thing where somebody just calls you and you come out and speak? And I'm sure you get paid and do the, you know, the corporate circuit for being an Olympian yeah. and all that stuff. But I'm sure some group of little tumblers down in Tacoma Park yeah, want to meet you. Too. And yeah. yeah, and I mean, I, I think that's part of what Michael Phelps is trying to get into with the swimming in Baltimore and going out and doing that kind of thing. I, I, I don't know that there's a support group for the next round of the Carrie Struggs or Dominique Dawes or well, whatever. it's not just young gymnasts that I reach out to, it's just any young person out there. And it's not just about the young people that love sports. The young girl that I mentor right now, her name is Tiara. She grew up in the inner cities of D.C. She is now at Rhode Island College. I'm so excited for her. She has no interest in sports. However, she does have an interest in possibly becoming a nurse someday. And really so you have a little me, sister? I have like a little sister and it's right. good just to be a role model to a young person and help them realize what they have a passion for in this world and help them realize that they can pursue and they can be anything and everything that they want to be in life and, and not let their obstacles that either society brings upon them or individuals in their life may put a bit, put in their way. So it's not just about helping groom and mold the next Shannon Miller or Amanda Borden, my Olympic teammates of the world. It's really making sure that these young people um, realize that they have something special inside of them. They have a gift. Dominique. If you love Baltimore sports, you'll love WNST.net.